Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to episode 5 of Let's Play Star Wars The Old Republic. And please don't forget to check the information in the description if you'd like to be referred by me or like to uh, check out my character name, which is Playground, server information, etc. We are going to Drama Cast uh, Spaceport now. Uh, I'm actually really excited because I decided I'm not going to do the... Um, Flashpoint with you guys today anyways, but I think in the future my friend and I are going to do the flashpoints together So maybe I can record it when we're both doing it. So we'll kind of see how that goes um, It might be one of those trial and error things like we'll do it I'll record it and it'll be so bad that I decide not to record it But we'll find out in the future uh, So here is Roman Kass and we're gonna go in and I guess check in over here And uh, we got some talents to pick too here. I guess we should look at what we need here. So you got passives and stuff like that, which is okay. Uh, no, cool. Uh, anyways, so we got a skillful utility we can pick here. So we got to kind of decide what we want. Ugh, I hate, I hate decisions, man. I hate decisions. So. Uh, reduce the cooldown of your unleash by 30 seconds and the cooldown of your unleash to heal you for 10%. Getting attacked reduces the active cooldown your force charge by one second. This effect cannot occur more than 1.5 seconds. Ooh. Generate four rage when stunned and mobilized, blah, blah, blah. Uh, rave vision mobilized target for the duration of ability. Sweep slash deals 25% more damage. Sweep slash. Sweep slash. Sweep slash. That's sweep slash? No, that's not. No, that's revenge. Sweep slash. Sweep slash. There we go. Uh, does 25 more damage. Force charge uh, grants unstoppable granting immunity for movement, blah, blah, blah. Uh, taking non paramedic effect effects. Generate one rage is going to occur, blah, blah, blah. Activating rage prevents. Uh, purges movement impairment effects. Ooh, you know what? I'm gonna have to go with this one, I think. It's too important, I think, to not have. So, 126 to 140. 156 to 174. I think that's important to have AoE like that, to be honest. Uh, it sounds like AoE is kind of an important move um, when you're leveling, at least. So, we'll, we'll go with that anyways for now. And if it was a bad mistake, whatever, no big deal. You can reset these later, I'm pretty sure. So here we go. Well, it looks like we got some mail too. I'm kind of interested to see what we have in the mailbox. Uh, we must have missed something. Oh crap. We got to click the arrival console, I guess that way it notifies somebody that we have arrived. This was not the door. This was not the door you're looking for. I bet you'll show me on the other side because it's like special. You're the one, yes. Not like the scabs that exited the shuttle with you. You radiate power, Lord. I bow before you. I, I get served that helmet. Lord Barris. He sent me to meet his new apprentice, and I made sure I was here on time. I certainly did, yes indeed. I hope you don't expect a reward. Serving and being allowed to live is reward enough. Huh. I'm just a slave who owes his every breath to the tolerance of Lord Barris. He said to introduce you to Droman Kass, and I take that seriously. Your breathing is now dependent on my tolerance as well. Yes, my lord. I exist by your good grace. Lord Barris ordered me to encourage you to explore Kass City before reporting to him. Imperials maintain the order, but they won't bother you. When you're ready, Lord Barris will meet you in his personal chambers. You, uh, you will tell Lord Barris I was good? Yes? That I served well? Just get out of my sight. Have huh. I done something to offend? 
How may I make amends, Lord? Your very existence no way. offends me. What did I do? No! What? <laughs> oh, he's gonna be pissed I killed his little minion. So this is talking about light and dark side. I must have just hit a dark side. Yep. So I'm dark level one. So if we look at my face, you remember I had blue eyes? I don't have blue eyes anymore because I'm a bit of a dark ass. Um, there is a way to turn it on and off. I forget where you can do it, but you can make it so your eyes don't do as much as the darkness. Oh, here. Corruption. There you go. And you can also... I'm going to take it off because I like my pretty eyes. You can unify colors, which I don't know exactly how that works, but I know there was some unify, whatever. And then hide the helmet because no one wants to stare at that ugly-ass helmet. Not me, anyways. He's going to be pissed I just killed his little minion, but hey... It's not my fault. The guy talked to me. I don't have time for chatty Kathy's. Mount up apparently here. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is check a mailbox actually. That's our next task. We got three little uh, mail icons up here on the left here, so I like to check out what's happening here. Okay, successfully. Okay, oh. Planetary Conquest, what is this? Greetings, on behalf of the uh, Pure Ice Seeker Corporation, this, uh, new stronghold, you're capable of assigning the Empire, blah, blah, blah. Your official mission log, detailed conquest objectives and rewards, both will change on a regular basis. Okay, well I got a free reward on that. I don't even know if I'm supposed to be doing this yet. I feel a little low level for this. Uh, wow. We got a whole bunch of free stuff from that uh, housing stuff. And this tells me that I've sold one of those uh, things for 500 credits, so not the really nice ones I sold. Uh, so here's more Spasige, I guess. I'm not sure what's in here. You are going to be transported into a wide variety of decorations. Oh, so you trade this in. It's like a credit. Okay. And then we have this. Oh, wow. Even more prestige items. Nice. And then, of course, we have all these credits. Because when I was in between episodes, I went crazy. Not only that, you can give this to your companion here. Actually, let's cancel it. You click this button here, you can see what she's at. And if you hand her little rewards, she gets all happy and moist. This is great, thanks. That sounded wrong. Um, but anyways, now she's level 2. And apparently she's a little more nicer, or not nicer, but she'll do more for you. 3% uh, time efficiency on crew skills, 1% critical rate of your crew skill task. So, like, maybe she'll get a blue or, like, a secondary item. Let's see what his is. His is 1. Oh, 50% presence when summoned. And 1.5 time efficiency crew tasks. 0 0.5 critical rate for crew skill. So, actually, she's got quite a little... Like, that's a quite a little bit of a jump already. Okay. Uh, let's see. I think we're ready to move on. Let's let's send her out on another task. Because we don't need her yet. And they're pretty quick qu tasks right now, so... There we go. And let's mount up. So what we're going to do is we're going to head to Cast City. Which is going through the jungle. So we used to. I have grass turned off. By the way, this game could look ten times more prettier. I have a few things turned off. I just want to show you this so you know that. You're like, oh, I thought this game had beautiful grass. Or I saw a video and there, there are lies or something. It actually looks wonderful. But I thought like when the grass was this much, I, I felt like that might have caused some lag. But that's actually really beautiful looking grass. I don't even think it causes that much lag. But I always thought, like, you know what, I always thought, you know, think, like, it'd be cheaper just to take that off anyways. Um, and shadow quality is down to off. Um, so I just want to let you guys know that. Um, I have no, I feel like the shadow one at least is the biggest one. I think that's blocked off. Uh, but I'm not 100% sure on the... Uh, the the ground clutter, but there's a reason to keep the ground clutter off uh, because you can. Ooh, look at this guy. I wonder. You think I could take him on? Oh crap! Oh, 
I am level 17, but at the same time, it's probably mainly uh, just being a bit better. What? A data library? I feel like I just got something special here. What? Give it to your companion to show their affection for them. What? That's awesome. I'll say thank you to that. Okay. Oh, because we're still mounted. This is considered a mount, so... There you go. Okay, they're back again, so let's send them out again. Go, go, go! Oh, pay attention, silly. Did I click this one yet? Yeah, yeah. There we go. Uh, let's go down this way. Okay, so, can we move? No. So here's an idea. You, you get these little things that you can loot or scavenge. This is probably scavenge, probably? So this is a scavenge pile. And that's what we get. Gathering resources. This tells exactly what we're doing there. And uh, yeah. So you can go around, scavenge, get crap off the ground, and then sell it on the auction house, etc. Which is probably what I'm going to be doing. This might actually have something interesting. Ah, here's a credit box. These ones actually can be pretty uh, darn uh, worth it. So you got one out of it, but... You see, I mean, it's just a credit box, so there's just free credit sitting there. Do, 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 do. I like how that one just completely missed. There you go. There you go. Nice. So we'll head to the city here. We'll find lots of these components when we're doing our missions and stuff anyways. It's just exciting to, you know, pick them up here and there. So here we go, we're in the city now. Key city. Oh! Oh no, we just had to get here, never mind. So it wants us to go all the way over there. Actually, we probably could take a shortcut. Because that's how awesome this is. I don't know which side these guys are. We'll go in the middle, I guess. There you go. Uh, oh, we did send them on. I was wondering if that clicking actually showed up or not, but it did. Uh, so in here, okay. So it's in the center. So what does this one do? Enters defensive lightsaber form. Increasing armor rating, blah blah blah, yeah. That's for tanking more than anything. Which, hey, tanking's good, but not what we want right now. I wanted her part of the conversation. I don't need, know if I even need her, but at times I feel like it might be important. Maybe she'll talk out a turn and I can zap her a bit more. Actually, I like to keep an eye on that if that is the case 22. Not a minute too soon. Your timing is impeccable. But... I understand you killed my welcoming committee. It was an accident, my lord. My hand slipped. We are no longer at the Academy on Korriban. You are Sith, 
You can claim the cold-blooded murders you perform here. <laughs> Killing him has not angered me. With such a disagreeable weapon at my side, many will think twice before crossing me. Your responsibilities will mandate contact with my various minions, meet my directives, and you may do as you will to anyone you encounter, adversary or ally. Sounds liberating. The ability to kill anyone I want. A lightsaber can only achieve so much, Apprentice. The most powerful weapon in a Sith Master's arsenal is information. I have painstakingly built a vast network of spies and operatives embedded throughout the Sith, Republic, and Jedi alike. I have fingers, eyes, and ears everywhere. Tell me, why don't you trust your own allies? A Sith has many rivals who seek to destroy him. We are an opportunistic culture. We rise by dismantling those around, and especially above us. You're my enforcer. Deployed to protect my interests, intimidate my rivals, and destroy my enemies. It's time for your tenure to begin. A military starship is touching down at the Car City cargo port, delivering a vitally important prisoner to me. You will meet Commander Lanklin at Docking Bay 12 and make sure he and his men successfully offload this prisoner. This is beneath my talents. Commander Lanklin can't handle it himself. Lanklin is competent, but that is moot. We must always assume that we are being plotted against, especially when the stakes are high. The importance of this prisoner cannot be overstated. Go to the cargo port now and stay sharp. You are dismissed. Do, do, do. Oh, influence gained. I got 300. Wow, cool. That's what I was wondering if I would get influence with her. Did she just ding herself? No, but she got a lot of influence. I was wondering about that, though. Uh, so I could give her more of this, right? Because this is her kind of gift. Hey, thanks. That wasn't much, unfortunately. I guess you kind of hit a cap at a certain point. That's not, you know. Uh, trainer, please. Oh man, reduce the strong. cooldown of your sundering assault. Oh, it's a passive, and by increasing the uh, range. Oh, okay. I like that. I uh, don't like this one. Smashes into the target, disrupting its current action, preventing the ability of being used for another four seconds. That's all I need. More freaking skills. Show no mercy. Sure. Okay. <laughs> Welcome back. Uh, you two can go on doing whatever uh, for now, because I feel like uh, we won't need you for the, the four minutes or so, hopefully. Might regret all that. Okay, so let's see where we're going. We're going to cargo port elevator. Huh. Let's go right here. Do 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 Okay, let's see here. This is adorable. Wait a minute, is that not on straight? F uh, I hate people. They did it on purpose to upset me, guys. Now I will do force choke on Bioware! Man, let's hurry up and get this hunk of carbonite to its owner. Oh, 
I, I didn't see you enter. Lord Barris didn't need to send a welcoming party. Oh, what? You're lucky I'm not an enemy, or you'd all be dead. Forgive me, my lord, but this is the capital world of the Empire. My men and I have performed much more dangerous duties for Lord Barris. The prisoner is frozen in carbonite, so he's not a flight risk. And this is friendly territory. Surely we're safe here. There is no such thing as friendly territory. No offense, my lord. That brand of paranoia may work for Lord Barris, but I don't subscribe to it. Which one of your men takes over after I kill you? Please, my lord. There's no need for talk like that. I heed your point. Let's get this oversized block of ice to your master. <laughs> Not so fast. My master ordered that block of ice. So step away from the carbonite man and no one ends up in a grave. This is a private party. Then consider it crashed. I'm here to relieve you of your burden. Whether that includes your own lives as well is up to you. Looky, looky. If it ain't Slashdak, your master be wanting the froze man to her. <laughs> Too bad for you. It mine. Oops. I think introductions are in order. Fine. I am Slestak, and this ignoramus is Tumar. My master and the slime Tumar takes orders from don't exactly like each other. My slime crush your master with Pinky. I'm such a fool. I'll never doubt Lord Barris again. What do we do? We kill them all. I know you're Sith, stranger, but I think your bravado is ill-advised. He got ideas, Slestak. How about we play Wishbone with the talker? Bigger half, get the spoils. A truce, then. You stood a chance against one set of us Sith, but even a master force user can't beat these odds. Time to roll the dice, then. Attack! Time for killing, boys! But, uh, where are you? Ten seconds? I don't know if I can hold on for that long, but we'll try. Really? You thought maybe this would be a good time not to show up? Oh, you're a pain in the butt not spawning. Wasn't actually that bad, anyways. Hey there. You yeah, silly. Where were you? Okay, you can go back on more missions. We'll just keep her around right now. Nobody better mess with us now. I see more ambushers on the way. Maybe you can hold them off while my men and I make a run for it and deliver the prisoner to Lord Barris. Leave the fighting for real fighters. Come on, man! Double time. <laughs> Carbonite. Okay, I guess we're done here. Richard turned Darth Barris, okay. Center we go! It will go to the right spot, huh? That's why this is nice, because you can use it with indoors.
Lanklin informed me of the ambush at the cargo port. Apparently, there are more eyes on us than even I thought. I have felt a disturbance in the Force. It leaves doom imprinted on my dreams. A grave and mysterious threat that could bring down my entire power base. Huh. Just do something this about it. This man is a top Republic agent captured while investigating my most deeply embedded spy on Nar Shaddaa. One of my invisibles. The Force grants me a vision of doom. And immediately, my untraceable spy, who has left no footprints, no trail, is almost exposed. It makes me furious. Instead of whining, do something about it? Oh, I'll do something about it. One of the things that I do best. Torture. I must learn what tipped off the Republic agent. He is the key to uncovering the nature of this threat. Now, while I thaw the prisoner and painfully siphon every morsel of information I can from him, I have some concerns that require your special talents. Hmm. I crave more action, so let's get on with it. No rest for the wicked, I guess. Go to the Imperial Post in the jungles outside the city. Commander Pritch is stationed there. He has a seek and destroy task for you. I don't take orders from lackeys. <laughs> Pritch is merely relaying information, Apprentice. I must tend to the torturing of this miserable Republic agent. Waste no time. I have more for you to do once this is complete. You are dismissed. You are dismissed. I like his little wing thingies on his butt. Do you select what you want? Oh, okay. So... I'm gonna select the crystals. I feel like crystals, period, are better. Oh, she's increased All to level better. 4, I said? Nice. So now if you hover over this, 6% time efficiency for crew skill tasks, 2% critical rate for crew skill tasks. That's really cool. That's It's nice to know that there's a good bonus doing, you know, leveling them up and whatnot. So, uh, looks like we're going to go over here. Do, do, do. Okay. Looks like we'll probably go down that way, huh? Yeah. So, I think that will round up this episode. Thank you guys and girls so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed. Please don't forget to subscribe, comment, like. And we'll see you wonderful people next time. Have a wonderful day. Goodbye.